hello friends so welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn if we are creating any chart for example we have created a line chart so how to show the average line on that particular chart okay we are going to learn this and the second thing is we are going to learn conditional formatting based on some condition we have to change the color like let's say some items are above average line so that should be in green in color and some items are below average line so that should be red in color we are going to see that okay so first thing uh, we will learn how to show average line on the graph from analytics plane pane okay so let's create one line chart for this so basically today we have a data i have already loaded the data from one excel sheet okay so i'll show you what type of data we have okay so basically we have two tables in the first table we have date okay so from date we have extracted a month number month name year then i have created one column year month number so that is the combination of year and month number then i have created a, a column of year month okay that is a combination of year and month after that quarter number and then quarter okay so we have already learned this how to create this okay after that we have second table for sales data so in first column we have order id in second column we have product category in third column we have order date and in fourth column we have sales okay i'll show you the model as well so basically we have two tables first one is date table which we have already seen second table is sales data and both table are connected with each other with date right date in date table and in sales data order date okay so the relationship is one to many okay data matching there okay so we don't have any third table so what we will do we will create two measures today okay first one uh, we will learn how to create an average line from analytics pane so what is analytics pane i will show you okay so basically first we will create one line chart okay so i have selected line chart from this visual option so on x axis we will show year and month okay on y-axis we will show sales amount see we have this chart we'll just format it quickly so basic formatting we will do go to general go to effect background change it to this color so that everything will be clearly visible and the next thing is go to visual x-axis make it bold black title make it bold and black Similarly, y axis, okay, done. This is the basic formatting. Now we want to show average line on this chart. So, how to show or do this? So, select the visual, the line chart which we have created. After that, if you see this icon, right, this icon is used for further analysis okay from our visual so just click on this one now we have multiple options here see y axis constant line if you want to show then minimum line maximum line average line so here okay so go to this average line select add line okay so this blue color one dotted one is the average line okay so the value of this average line is okay i'll just enable the data label so see the value is 319887 i'll show you how to check this as well whether it is correct or not okay so before that we can format this line as well okay go to line so the color of the line you can select black so that it will be clearly visible if you want solid line you can select solid line otherwise if you want dotted line you can select dotted as well okay so this is how we can create average line in our visual okay now if you want to check whether this line is correct or not so for that what you have to do you have to calculate this average first okay so we know how to calculate right we have to create one new measure so right click on sales data select new measure okay now in this we have to type the formula so i have already written the formula here so i'll just explain you the formula so basically we are calculating this monthly average sales okay from our data and we are using sales amount from column so if you want this formula just comment below i'll provide this to you 
okay so i'll include this p uh, pbix file uh, in the description box so you can also download it and you can practice this okay it will be very helpful while creating the visual so just hit enter so see uh, one visual will be created and the name of the visual will be monthly average sale now we have to check whether this line is correct or not so what we will do we will show this value on this chart right if it is matching then it is correct okay so we will just select the chart okay so on y-axis we have shown sales amount and one more thing we will show which is the monthly average so I'll just drag it to y-axis now see one more line is there and which is exactly coincide with the dotted line so it means that that average which we have calculated from this analytics pane is correct okay so this is how you can create average line so multiple options are there in that analytics pane we will just explore this okay so if you want to show constant line okay you can show so right now the value of this line is at zero okay after that if you want to show minimum line you can just add C for the minimum value it will add a line if you want to show maximum line you can just add so for maximum value it will add the line then average we have seen if you want to show median line it will show median as well median of the data if you want to show percentile line so just add so this is the percentile line okay after that if you want to yeah error bars i'll explain it in the later video okay so this is how you can create different different lines or if you want to show different values in the chart average minimum maximum you can show okay now the next thing is okay uh we can add data labels here so that it will be uh, i'll just remove the lines which we have added because I want to show one more thing to you all average line we will keep median line we will remove yeah and percentile also we will remove okay now if you want to add data labels here for values uh, we have I have already told you we have already discussed okay you have to just select your visual go to format your visual enable data label and if you want to show the dark circle so just click on marker okay the shape is already set. we will give 15 okay so that the dots are clearly visible now the next thing is okay so this was the first thing which we I told you we are going to learn how to show different lines from analytics pane okay now the next thing is we are going to learn let's say you want to color these circles which are above average line how to do that and the circles which are below average line how to do that okay we will discuss that thing okay so if you have selected line chart as a visual there is no option of conditional formatting in it I'll show you okay so if you go on this one okay so if you have selected color more color color you can decide at your own but the thing is if you want to do conditional formatting you cannot do on this line chart okay because there is no option of conditional formatting in this so for showing the values above average line with different color and the values below average line with different colors we have to change the type of the chart okay so what we will do we will just create a copy of this one i'll just duplicate the page okay now i'll change this whole visual to line and cl uh, clustered column chart only okay now see there are certain columns so what we will do we will apply the conditional formatting on this column okay so i'll just calculate one con uh, one measure okay which we uh, which will predict whether the value is above average line or below average line and based on that it will give the color so what i'll do i'll just right click on the sales data i'll just select the new measure the name of the measure i'll put at cf1 means conditional formatting first and i'll type this formula so i'll explain this formula basically we are using if clause here okay if the sales amount means this one the value of the bar is greater than or equal to monthly average sales okay if it is greater than or equal to monthly average sales it will show green color 
otherwise it will show red color okay I'll just copy this you can also type this formula if you want the formula I'll provide it to you okay so I'll just enter so one measure will be created with the name as CF1 okay now what I'll do I'll just format this chart so I'll just go to format your visual okay if you go on column so there is one symbol of function so in this function we have already seen two things right gradient and then rules okay but now we are using one condition here so we will go to field value because we have to compare it with measure okay so the field value will be in sales data table this conditional formatting just click on okay see based on the conditional formatting it has changed the color of the column if the values are above average or equal to average it is showing in green in color if the values are below average it is showing red in color but we want to show this on line chart okay so what I'll do I'll just select the visual okay and I'll convert it to line chart now if you observe carefully the value which are above average it is in green in color if the values are below average the these are in red in color so this is how you have to do okay in line chart you cannot do conditional formatting but if you convert the chart into clustered column chart you can do that okay so this is how you can show average line on the chart and you can do conditional formatting for your values based on the condition okay so you have to just select the different type of chart which is you have to convert line chart uh, for applying conditional formatting you have to convert line chart to clustered column chart after that apply conditional formatting rule and then again convert the chart into line chart okay I hope you have liked this trick and this is very useful trick you can use in many power bi project okay for showing this so thank you guys for joining I hope you uh, if you have liked this video please sus subscribe this channel as well I'll provide you new tricks daily thank you for joining